Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to find a string within a certain big string within the C hash. Like if you want to find a certain text or a part of text in a in a big string, how we can do that? First, so. Uh, we need to click on file we need to click on new and then on project okay now we need to click on visual c hash and then click on ok now our main gui window is there what we need to do is to go to toolbox go to push button and we will just paste one push button here okay now we will double click on that push button and it will lead us to one of the functions of what's called as the uh, as private function of button one click uh, event okay so whenever we will click the button all the statements within this function will get executed okay now let us suppose that we have two strings strings are just simple text okay text format so we can say string a is equal to like uh, Nelson Darwin okay let us suppose we will write Nelson Darwin and then string B is equal to NEL S okay Nels okay or like uh, or we will just like DR DR okay there okay so we will now we will find that either DAR used to lie inside this Nelson Darwin or not so how we can do that we know that Nelson Darwin the whole string is stored inside this variable a while DAR string is just stored inside this variable B so what we need to write is we have a function that uh, is a dot con contains okay it means that either a contains B or not okay so contains function will find either B text or string lies inside a or not okay so this is okay so also we will want to see the result on what's called is the console so console dot right line okay and so two functions in one line contains and console dot right line okay and a is variable b is also a variable so if it is there it will it will it will return true okay we will get true and if it is false we will get false now run it out okay now this is our console you can see now we will press the push button one and it gives us true why it is so because because dr is inside nelson darwin yeah you can see it now let us pause it we will write dr uh, okay dr e okay okay wait uh, we have to stop it first d a r e there now we will see either it will give us true or false okay it will give us false why it is so because d a r e does not lie inside nelson darwin so in this way we can find out that either a string lies within another big string or not so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe